Hi girlfriends, thanks for joining me today. What we're gonna be doing is going over those products, but before we do, we always take a look at what I have on. Now I have had a lot of people say, why in the world do you do that? Well, just kind of evolved from the channel. Everybody would ask me all the time about jewelry, clothes, all of it. And so I just got to where it was a part of each video. It's just easier that way for you guys to see it. But I understand if you don't wanna see that, so I'm gonna put a timestamp right here where you can go ahead and skip past my ensemble and just go to the reviews of the products. Now we also have a numbering system where each product will have a number next to it. And all you have to do is go down in the description box and look for that number and shop that way. All right, you ready to see what I got on? So we're gonna start with the shirt. I loved this big, huge, puffy sleeve that it has on here. I really like the way that this shirt lays. It is kind of a chiffon feel shirt. And I will untuck it so that you can see how it looks untucked. It seems like there's just plenty of room. I wear a large and it seems to be really true to size. And it doesn't gape across my bust, which is what I have a problem with most of the time. So I'll turn and let you see the back. It goes clear down under the rear. And I like that about it. But I really love tucking it today. It kind of showed off these pants. These pants, um, they don't have like a regular waistband. It's just a stretchy, high-waisted pant. We've got this cute little pleat detail all the way down, and they are kind of a flared pant too. I really love these. I think they're so comfortable. They just kind of give an illusion of a straight up and down, and then I paired them with some really cute pointed toe pumps, and these are in light pink. And then I've been carrying around this purse, which I think I may have shown you before, but I think that it really completes the outfit. I just think it's so cute and yeah, I'll get a little bit closer and you can look at the jewelry I also got out my pretty little heart puff necklace. This is very dainty. The chain is very dainty I love it. It's not real gold. Obviously it could never afford that and then also I love these triangle earrings with the hanging down look of feathers I think these are adorable and I love wearing them too. All right, that's everything that I have on. Let's go ahead and let's get into the products. We're gonna start out with the least expensive one and work up to the most expensive one. But really seriously, you don't wanna miss, I think it's like number 14 or 16, I can't remember, later on in the video because I found a gem and I was really excited to share it with you guys. Number one is coming in at $4 and it is these Essence palettes. These little palettes have six six pans inside of them. They also have a mirror, which is awesome because you could just throw that in your purse. But the quality on this is so good. I really do love these. And I have this one in taupe. It's taupe it up and mauve it, mauve it. This one, of course, I picked it because I love mauves and purples. And this is just a really pretty little palette. The shades are so buttery and so easy to blend. This one is dancing green. And I really like this one simply because it has a couple of really neutral shades in here. And I find myself reaching for this palette in conjunction with these palettes all the time. I really do love these mostly because they just work really good with my crinkly eyelids as I get older. They don't seem to show a lot of texture and I just really like how easy they are to blend. Coming in at number two at $5 or $5.50 about on Amazon, you can get any Maybelline lipstick that you want. But I wanted to specifically share these two with you because I feel like these two cover a gamut of what I'm gonna of what I'm sharing. So the first one is called Warm Me Up. This has been touted as a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, and I think it's prettier. I'm not a huge Pillow Talk fan, even though you know I have worn it, but it just pulls a little bit too warm when I put it on my lips. Very creamy and very rich, and I've talked about that specific color so many times on my channel. Now, what I'm wearing in the middle of my lips uh, today from Maybelline is called Purely Nude, and I just put a liner on and then I put this on. This has a very creamy feel to it, these do. Warm Me Up is a satin, and I believe that Purely Nude is a little bit more matte-like, but such a nice lipstick. Both of those are fantastic. I feel like they don't bleed on me and you know, doesn't accentuate my lip lines. That kind of happens sometimes as we get older. These have been in my rotation for years and years and I really can recommend them highly. This next product is one that I feel like everybody kind of forgets about and it's the Essence Contouring Duo Palette. This one is $6 and I have the one that is for lighter skin and then they have one that is for darker skin. And the reason that I love this is because I like to do this when I want a one and done, not just 
a contour or not just a bronzer. I want to be able to kind of combine the two and you can see that I've hit pan on it. And now what I'm doing is I'm just going across the two of them a little bit because I want to be able to use up this powder too. These two powders, both of them, I mean, you can see how light that powder is. These are very creamy and very blendable and they do create a beautiful contour. I enjoy wearing contour in my hairline in order to disguise some of my high forehead. I have a really high forehead. So let me just take a little bit of this on a brush and then I'm gonna tap it off and I will try to show you what I'm talking about. Beautiful contour it goes on and you're gonna be able to blend it in and it just works so nice. I put my contour right up in my hairline. I've done that my whole life because of how high my forehead is. Really is a nice product, blends really well on mature skin and doesn't make you look like you're dried out. And I don't know if I said that or not, but this one was $6. All right, also coming in around $6, Rimmel Maxi Blush. Why I love these blushes is because of how they feel. They feel so buttery and so nice. And when you put them on and blend them out, on your skin they're going to give you the most beautiful flush so this first one right here is called uh, wild card now i find that wild card is probably the hardest one to get my hands on the next one is third base let me swatch that one for you as well third base is probably the lightest one so that one's third base and then the next one is more of a coral one this one is sweet dreams so we've got a kind of a coral true peach going on right here and hopefully you can see that as well. And then the last one we have is the darkest one that they have, and it's called Rendezvous. And this is beautiful. And I know that normally if you're a very light person, sometimes you don't go for the darker colors, but some of these have just enough rose in them or just enough of the little burgundy in them that when you shear them out, they're just intensely beautiful. So don't shy away just because the color's too dark. Just blend it out a little bit more. So those are $6. Coming in at number five is what I have on today, which is the Milani Cheek Kiss Blushes. And I actually mixed all three of these together today to get my blush. I adore these blushes. They're so pretty and they're so nice. Now I do have one that's called Berry Smooch. It's kind of more along lines of a red. Rose Embrace is the next one. This is the one that I use the most. And then the last one, let's see what the last one's called. The last one is called Pink Flirt. Now Pink Flirt has that uh, peachy pink look to, oh, they're going into each other. Okay, let's just try to get that out there. Okay, so pretty. Just so, so beautiful. I love the texture of them. Once they're dried down, they just look so pretty on your skin. Let me use that brush I just used. I'll pick that up a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and just dot just a little bit extra across my cheeks. So pretty, just really pretty. I love this blush and it just blends out like a dream. I think anybody that is interested in looking into liquid blushes, you most definitely should look into the Milani ones and those come in at about $10. Number six, something I'm really excited about for summer and this is the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen. This has an SPF of 50, so you're completely covered. It is it is zinc oxide, so at first you do get a little bit of that white cast as you're applying it but as you go on it just disappears and it's absolutely sheer and I love that it's also not super heavy so you're not gonna feel like you have an extra layer on your skin that's the other thing I like about it no alcohol that I saw on the ingredient deck either and I think that's great for us mature women to be able to find one that works so good under makeup and protects us from the Sun number seven is that new mascara that caused such a fuss and that is the L'Oreal telescopic lip I have mine in the waterproof formula because I wanted it for my under eyes. I also like wearing a waterproof formula just every day when I'm sweating, you know, sometimes you can get the raccoon eyes or whatever. What's so interesting about this mascara is it does have a nice formula that will build on itself, but it also has this awesome brush. One of the sides is really short and then the two sides on either side of it are really long. So it's a really interesting brush. It is a silicone brush, not a natural bristle brush, but I find that this builds length just absolutely gorgeous. Even though even though we had that whole thing about mascara gate, this is a beautiful mascara. I am wearing it on this eye today. The next mascara that I show you, I'm wearing on this eye. So this lasts all day and I really fell in love with it as soon as I tried it. Okay, if you have been with me for any time at all, you know that I 
fell in love years and years ago with the Sephora Gel Rouge lip liners. And my very favorite one is the one that I have on today and it's called Rum Raisin. I love these colors. I'm not gonna swatch all of them for you. Let me tell you about the texture though. The texture is very much like a lipstick, like a creamy lipstick, but they're in the form of, you know, a lip liner. So I just will outline and then they smudge so nicely because they're easy to work with and they're not a super stiff formula. And that's what I like about them. You can use these as your lip color, your lipstick, and you can use them as your lip liner. And they are an automatic, so they wind up very easy. And they really truly have every color under the rainbow. Another one that I really like a lot is called Bellflower and it's got a little bit of a lilac in it. I do like that about it. I will wear that one with a little bit more pink. And I really think that if you see any of these these colors that you might like, I would go for it because these colors are amazing. I will put up a swatch picture right here so that you can see these colors. They are all my favorite. And how many do I even have here? I have eight that are my favorite from this line. Number nine is the Calorie Mascara. I have a little tube of it. This is $13 and this is a very buildable, easy to wear mascara that really helps build volume. This is more of a natural bristle brush and I do really enjoy wearing this one. I don't find that this smudges or flakes and I find that it builds up the volume that I need. So I actually will use this one to do volume and then the telescopic to do the length. You can get quite good length with this one, but I would say that it's more about a volume than a lengthening. So it lasts all day. For me, I never get raccoon eyes with it. I never get flaking or smudging. And I I really like this one a lot. By the way, the Sephora sale is coming up pretty soon. So maybe take note of some of these things that you see that you might like because they're gonna be on sale or else come back and watch the video again during the Sephora sale. Number 10 is from number seven and this is the Lift and Luminate Pressed Powder. This powder is phenomenal. It has been likened over and over again to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Powder, but for me, I like it better. It's lighter. You don't get as much powder when you dip your brush in there. This is a one that I just bought two weeks ago. I wanted to do a little bit darker color for self tanning and we're coming up on summer, hopefully someday. And this one is the light medium one and the light one is very pale, but it works really good. They are very translucent and they will buff and blur your pores like nobody's business. Just a soft buttery powder that I have been talking about for as long as I could possibly remember and beautiful packaging and this, this comes in at about $15. I love this powder and I have another one that is light and I've used it and used it and I've never hit pan on it yet. So this is a beautiful powder that you need very little of, but it looks pretty on mature skin and it's not gonna make you look like you're super dry. Number 11 is $13 and this is one that one of you subscribers told me about and I'm so happy that you did. This is the Neutrogena Radiant Setting Spray. Now I've researched all the ingredients in here and although it does say something about glycol and a couple of ingredients, they aren't bad alcohols. As a matter of fact, they're humectants. It's gonna help keep your face looking more dewy. And I love that about it. I like the spray on it, although I don't specifically spray anything on my face. I usually spray my dampened beauty sponge and then put it on my face, just pat it on my face with the sponge. It works so much better. But this doesn't have like particles in it or anything that's gonna make you look shiny. It just doesn't dry you out and make you look matte even though it keeps my makeup on. I don't know how it does it. I think it's a beautiful setting spray. I'm so glad that I heard about it from one of you and I can definitely recommend it. I have three foundations in this video and this is number 12 and this is the, by the way, I think I forgot to say that this is $13, the Neutrogena spray. This one from Sephora is the best skin ever foundation. This is a full coverage foundation and this is one of the best foundations I've ever used. It is a foundation that is kind of satin matte. It covers imperfections like crazy. And for me, I saw absolutely no texture with it. So I fell in love with it. I bought a darker color and a lighter color to kind of mix and get my own custom color. I'll make sure that I put both of those down below. 
but this really is beautiful on my mature skin. Now, keep in mind that I am a very dry gal, and so I really like something that's not going to feel like it's even drying me out more. So this does exactly what I want it to. I also like a little bit more coverage because I have a lot of scarring, and I really need that to be kind of evened out. So I love this, and I think that you will too if you're somebody that is anywhere from combo all the way over to dry and even if you're oily if you just pat a little bit of powder on this i think that you'll like it too i also love that their color range is so big i don't know how many there is but there is the very very fairest all the way to the deepest and i really think that they did a great job on the cool neutral and warm at $20, I think that this foundation is a steal. Okay, here's the one I was talking about, it's number 13. So this is the Misha 4-in-1 Primer. And the reason that I wanted to talk to you about this is you can see right there that it's really quite thick, but when you put your finger into it, it feels so light. I mean, truly just light as air. It just sinks into your skin. It blurs out your imperfections, gives you a little bit of hydration. And guess what? I really think that this is every bit as good as the Bobbi Brown Face Base and it feels very much like that. So at its $21 price tag or $22 price tag, I think that this is equally as good, if not better. When I tried the Bobbi Brown one, it really wasn't for me. It just felt a little bit too heavy. This one still feels hydrating, but it feels like it sinks in very quickly too. And I love that about it. And I can also feel how it would blur your pores because I can feel that little bit of silicone or dimethicone in it. So beautiful. I love wearing this. At $24, this palette from ColourPop is my favorite palette that they have ever made. And it's the ColourPop Lust for Dusk. And I, I adore this palette. This palette for me is everything that I want. It's got cool tones over here, very warm tones, and it's got your berries, it's got purple, it's got a little bit of blue, and it. it's got these beautiful icy colors that you can put across your eyelids and it not show texture. This is a gorgeous palette. I have been in love with it ever since it came out. Used it and used it and used it even though I have a ton of other palettes. But this palette, I go back and I recommend this over and over and over again, especially if you're somebody that doesn't know what you wanna do, you want to have a few options, but you don't wanna feel like you're super overwhelmed well, I get that part. So mattes are really buttery and really creamy. That's one of the things. It's so easy to blend out. I love this palette and I will forever recommend it. And I am crossing my fingers that they do not discontinue this thing because I love this palette and I have loved it for a long time. The next product is from Danessa Myricks. And I don't know if I have heard anybody talk about the this product at all. Maybe I'm living under a rock, I don't know. But every time I hear somebody talk about a cream bronzer, I think about what about a cream contour? And that is what Danessa Myricks did in her balm contour. Now there are a lot of shades that are way too warm for me. But the first shade, and I don't remember what it is, I'll make sure that I put it um, up on the screen for you. The first shade, I think this is the fairest one she has, works like a dream for me for a contour. And you can tell I've hit pan on it, I love this thing. It is that muddy look instead of being that bright look that most contours lean towards. This is gorgeous and it blends out so well and so easy. I went and I got another one last year in order to have it while I was doing my sunless tanning. And this one is a little bit, it's still muddy, but it's a little bit more warm. It did work really good while I had the tan though because you get a little bit more of warmth with your sunless tanner anyway. I think it's one that any mature woman that struggles with a powder, contour, or bronzer that you need to give it a try. I just think this is so beautiful. And did I say that was $26 and I got ahead of myself because coming in at number 16 is one that is $25 and it is from Thank You Farmer. This is one that I heard about from Penny from Penn Smith Skin Care. I'm telling you, I think I've talked about Penny all week long or all like month long. She's just amazing and everything that she talks about, I usually give a try and she's usually spot on. This is a Shimmer Sun Essence Sun Protection and it's a 30 SPF. Now she talks about using this as her primer. This is an extremely lightweight SPF. 
I cannot believe how lightweight it is. And the other thing is it has that tiny bit of glow in it. It's not like a beaming glow or anything. It just gives a reflective look to your face like glass skin. And I think that's so pretty. It's super duper light. So if you've been searching high and low for something light, as far as your primers go or your SPF, these two products are gonna have you covered. And I love this one from Thank You Farmer. I think it's just beautiful and I've used it a ton. And even if you're out and you want to reapply this, I know it wouldn't go great over makeup, but if you need to reapply, so easy to reapply because you don't feel sticky after you put it on. I only put one concealer in here. And if you are interested in seeing what my drugstore picks work for concealer, I just did that video. So I'll make sure that I link that video down below. But this is my concealer that I'm reaching for constantly. I find that this concealer is so good. This is a mini of it. So let me just tell you really quick about the Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer. It is just a dream for me. I absolutely love that it doesn't look like stiff makeup on me. It's really just blends with the skin and it's just gorgeous. In at $31, I think that this, you know, regular size is about what high end and luxury is sitting at. They're somewhere anywhere from $25 to $30. So this is a little bit more, but it is worth it. And if you can get it on sale too, even better. I really like this and I think that it's one that mature women will really like because you need such a teeny tiny bit and you can spread it out and it covers so good. Full coverage, by the way. So if you don't really need full coverage, it might not be for you, but it really is one that I have loved for a long time. And you can see it's kind of an hourglass doe foot wand there. So this little one, this mini one, I wish that we could find these again because this one lasts me like at least six months or so, but this is a mature woman's concealer all the way. All right, I also fell in love with when it came out was the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. This is a very, very thin foundation and it's also an incredibly gorgeous foundation. I'm trying to figure out how you do it. Oh, I forgot, screw it off. Comes in a little applicator right there, not a pump, but that's okay. I love that this is a thinner formula and yet you get a lot of coverage, but you also get a ton of hydration on this. This is gonna give you that dewy glass-like skin. And so if you're somebody that's oily, you probably won't like this, but if you're any of the other skin types, I think that you're going to die for this because I love wearing this. It's one of my very favorites. It just looks pretty immediately. You don't have to fuss with it. You don't have to worry about texture or going into your pores or your fine lines or anything like that. And you get coverage from it too. And I just, this is a yummy foundation. They named it just perfect. Yummy skin foundation is really yummy. And she does have some really good shades too. So it's one of those ones that I was like, well, this is cool. And what's really cool about it too, is that this will come apart and, the, and you can refill this. So we're not using as much packaging which I think is a great thing as well. The next thing always reminds me when I pull it out, it reminds me of Mel Thompson because I bought this on her recommendation a few years ago and it just makes me so happy to use this. This is from Benefit and this is the Cookie Highlighter and it's kind of this champagne gold color. Normally I would go more for a champagne pink color, but this one is so pretty and I think you're gonna be able to see it no problem because look at the reflect on that. Now I've worn it on my inner corner, on my cheek, a little bit on my cupid's bow this is just a gorgeous highlighter benefit doesn't have the great pack greatest packaging i don't think but at least they're using cardboard that is biodegradable biodegradable instead of plastic that might not be as easy to recycle so this is so good. It's so pretty, never shows any texture. Now remember my trick that I always say about putting your highlighter under your blush? Definitely try that. This is a huge box full of the highlighter. $35, yes, I know that's a lot, but when you get something that is just so smooth and so pretty with absolutely no glitter particles, just shine, just glow, I personally think that it is worth it. I do wish they'd come out with a smaller one. I think that that would be great and then a lot more people could try it but it's so, so pretty. And I just, every time I pull it out, I get a big smile on my face because I think of Mel. Number 20 is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation. This is $47. I couldn't believe when I was looking at prices how much things have gone up. So I realize that this foundation does cost a lot, but it is what I have on today and it is flawless. 
I have loved this one for probably four years. I think that Risa from Risa Does Makeup, she's the one that I heard recommend it, and I could not believe how gorgeous it was. It just is one of those foundations that you can feel the minute you squeeze it out and you start to work it a little bit on your sponge or your brush, you can feel that it just feels serum-like. It's gonna have a lot of coverage, and yet it's not gonna look really heavy. It's gonna look like skin, and I, would wear this every single day if it wasn't my job to test out things because this is the one that I gravitate towards when I want an effortless, beautiful look that I know is gonna last all day long. And this is my perfect color too for when I'm not doing self tanning. I keep talking about self tanning, but I haven't done it. But anyway, this is so pretty, no texture. You can build this. So if you need a couple of coats to get a little bit more coverage for yourself, you can do that. I have a lot of discoloration between my face and my chest, and it just seems to just cover that up and be no problem whatsoever. I really do recommend this for anybody that struggles with foundation. If you look and look and look and you can't find the right one, and by the way, this one, it says Synchro Skin. It does just seem to melt with your skin, turn a little bit color correcting on it. It's a really cool tone when it comes out of the bottle, which I do love because most foundations are so orange that I have to color correct them. I don't have to do that with this one. This one just makes me happy. This is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. And again, I, I think I said it was $47 and that does seem like a lot, but you know, NARS and all of them, they're going up there into the 50. So we're talking about a foundation that I know is a no fail foundation. And I think that you will love it too. At number 21 is the last item. And this is what I have on my eyes today for a palette. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I, was going through my drawer the other day and I ran across it and opened it and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is why I love this palette. This is such a versatile palette for me because number one, I love purples and you've got the lavender purple in here, but you can also do a burgundy look and you could also do a neutral look, no problem. And they have these really interesting textures. Now you can see on my eyelid today, I did use one of these blues on there over top of just this light pink. I really have loved this palette for a long time. Yes, it's $69. This is a quite steep, expensive palette. Same as Natasha Denona. Um, I like Natasha Denona, but I love this palette. This palette just screams Melissa to me. And I think if I had the chance to put a palette together, it would be something like this. The mattes that she has are so buttery. They just feel like cream when you put them on and they blend absolutely like a dream. She's also got a lot of toppers in here and she's got a ton of beautiful shimmers, some with a little bit of glitter and then some that are just beautiful shine. This is a beautiful palette and if you can get your hands on it, I definitely would, even at the sale that's coming up. It's one of those ones that I feel like every woman would enjoy. If you have green, brown, blue eyes, it doesn't really matter. These, this palette is gonna be one that will set your eyes off and it will just look beautiful on you. And when I you know, do my makeup and my eyelids are moving around a lot, it doesn't seem to skip or show texture or anything like that. It's just a really beautiful quality palette. And who could pass it up with that beautiful packaging, right? <laughs> All right, that's it. That's the 21 products that I think women over 50, over 40 should have in their makeup stash starting at $4. I saw one that was starting at $5. I'm like, I think I can beat that. Let's start at $4. So I hope that you did enjoy this today. We went across the board clear from very affordable all the way to luxury makeup. But you know what? In all of these, this is very beautiful makeup. It didn't matter whether it was $4 or whether it was $70. It's just incredibly beautiful and I highly recommend them to you. Tell me down below some of the makeup that you think should have been in this lineup today. I'd love to hear that from you if there's something that you're really loving. I hope you're all doing very well. The sun is shining today, so I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you all for being here with me. I hope that you have a great day and take care of yourselves. I love you so much. Bye, my friends.